friends welcome to my youtube channel technical experience today i'm going to discuss or explain mile tripping due to tc art fault people those who work in substation they are well aware of the mile tripping word when there is a tripping in the substation and we don't get any reason or the logic for the tripping then we call it mile tripping or sometimes spurious tripping there may be thousand reasons for which the relay or the circuit breaker may mal trip but today i will discuss the trip mal tripping which occurs due to dc at fault now let us see how this dc at fault creates mal tripping in the system in a substation dc at fault can occur because of single pole to earth that is positive to earth or negative to earth or sometimes this can occur because of double or multiple art faults but is it possible that any kind of dc art fault can create a mal tripping in the system let us see all the possibilities case by case before we discuss dc art fault in the system let us understand how the dc system or the dc db in a substation looks like dc system or the dc db of a substation consists of a battery bank which is connected to a high resistance that is also divided in between and connected to the r to get the virtual zero potential and circled part this is the dc db in a substation in my earlier video on dc db i have explained how the dc db looks like and how they are formed the link of the same is given in the description box on the right hand side of the circuit the load is connected to the dc db or the battery so the load consists of the relay or the circuit breaker or any other coils the battery dc positive and the negative are separated to each other by the ano contacts those are provided over the coils as logic on getting favorable condition this ano contacts become ansi and this positive terminal of the battery gets through to the negative through this relay or the circuit breaker coils and that causes the current to flow through the coil and that causes the circuit breaker to operate in case of dc art fault how this current can flow through the relay coil or the circuit breaker coil that can easily be understood if we understand the virtual or the actual configuration of the dc db virtually two capacitances come across the battery which look like as shown above as to get the virtual zero potential of the battery the battery is connected across a high resistance which is divided in between and that is also connected to the earth through a meter so because of that there are two virtual capacitances that is c1 and c2 which are equal to each other they come across or come in parallel to the resistances if we like to show the battery bank connected across the relay then this be the real picture now we will see how this circuit behaves to a art fault so when there is an art fault on the positive dc or on the negative dc how this circuit behaves in the circuit we can see the relay coil or the circuit breaker coils are connected to the battery through logic contacts so part of the circuit that is connected above the logic contact that is ano that is considered as positive and the part which is connected below the ano contact that is considered as negative so in the above part wherever there is an art fault that will be considered as dc terminal to art fault and similarly on the other side if there is an art fault that will be considered as negative dc to art fault now to understand how in a at fault condition that is single pole to at fault how fault current flows we will have to consider the actual circuit of the dc db then we will be able to understand whether this fault current is able to flow through the 
relay coil or the circuit breaker coil or not. In this circuit, we can see the capacitors C1 and C2 are connected across the battery. So, if the battery voltage is V, then the capacitors will be charged with a voltage V by 2 in a fashion as shown above. As shown in the circuit diagram, when there will be a positive pole to earth fault or positive terminal to earth fault, how the current flows through the circuit, let us see. So the current or the battery voltage will get discharged through this faulty path and will come back to the negative terminal through this second part or the second capacitance of the circuit. So the effective voltage which will be discharged through this faulty path will be V by 2 as battery voltage V will get cancelled by half the battery voltage by this capacitor. Because of this some current will flow through the circuit or the faulty path. But we can clearly see there is no current flown through this relay coil or the circuit breaker coil. Hence, this will not create any maloperation. Now let us see what happens when there is an art fault occurs on the negative arm of the battery. During negative DC to art fault, we will have to see where the fault has taken place. If the fault has taken place before the relay coil, then there will be no current thrown through the relay coil. Hence, there will be no actuation of the relay coil as well as there will be no mal tripping. But if the fault occurs after the relay coil as shown in the figure, then there will be some fault current flowing through the relay coil. So let us see if that much of current will be able to actuate the relay or not. We know the capacitors will be charged at a voltage of V by 2. So when there will be arc fault after the relay coil, then this capacitor will get discharged through this faulty path and the current will flow through the relay coil and will come back to the negative part of the capacitor. Hence a current will flow through the relay or the circuit breaker coil because of such art fault, but that current will be of the magnitude that is half of its rated current. So in this case, the relay or the circuit breaker coil will not actuate. Now we will see in case of multiple art fault or double point to art fault. So as shown in the figure, we can see there is an art fault in the positive arm of the battery as well as on the negative arm of the battery and negative arm of the battery is also arched after the relay coil. In such cases of art fault only, we will be able to see the whole battery voltage will get discharged through the relay coil and will come back to the battery negative terminal. Hence, a rated current will flow through the relay or the circuit breaker coil which will be able to actuate the relay or the circuit breaker. Hence, in such cases only, there will be mild tripping in the system. Friends, if you like the video, please like, share and comment and also don't forget to subscribe the channel.